what we identified when we started to really look at where this market was going and con the connecting of things to the internet, we started to see apps, devices turning up that were app controlled. And it was all very cool. You know, you have a door lock you control with an app, um, you sell it. It's cool, it's innovative. Stick it on an end cap, sell it, sell the butt off it. But what you then start to look at is as more of these devices came in, you started to see consumers getting confused because these things wouldn't work with each other. And, and, and you recognize that on the one hand, if, if, if the vendors now have an opportunity to deal direct with the consumer and get data direct from the consumer, there's all sorts of value to the vendor from that data. But when you look at it, we lose that data as a retailer. We now have the traditional model was being, was being disrupted because our customers now talking with our supplier and actually, they could have a conversation about a whole range of other things around the outside. Now, you could say boo-hoo retailer because the internet's come and it's reinvented the industry and you're now a casualty. But what we've seen was that consumers don't want to stand on their doorstep and open the door with one app, control the thermostat with another, the lights with another. The light guy doesn't want to talk to the thermostat guy and doesn't want to talk to the door lock guy and they, they all make their individual devices. So when you talk about the value chain, we felt we had to step in. The, the opportunity was to step in and solve that problem. Give consumers a platform through which everything they bought from us would work through one app and one user interface. And so that's what we did. We set about building a platform, Iris. It's open, any devices. And it's, it's really about that, putting yourself back in the value chain. And if we're not in the value chain, then you know, we'll pay the price.